Who's in charge at Camp Gall? Which one of you dorkwads is in charge? Is it you, O'Hanran? Oh, O'Hanran, oh, my Hanran! <laughs> we won't go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Oh, hell. What is it now? How do you like serving in the army? Bet you love it! Man, it's my life. I joined up when I was 16. I don't know how to do anything else. You joined at 16 and you're still a sergeant? Is it because the requirements for promotion are so high? I didn't want to get promoted out of the field. I didn't join up to drive a desk. Well, how'd you end up here, at Camp Golf? I've been here since the first push into Vegas. Back in the day, this camp was the hot spot for conflicts with the Legion, Raider tribes, you name it. These days, I spend most of my time trying to beat a little discipline into the soldiers under my command. They've gotten soft with no action. You mean those losers that were sitting out there? Somebody's got to turn them into a real fighting force. Is that somebody you? They're undisciplined, lazy, and they have absolutely no esprit de corps. The squad leader's got some promise, kid named Mags. But as for the rest, I don't see much hope. Well, maybe I can help whip them into shape. You're welcome to try, hell. Maybe they'll listen to somebody they don't see as an authority figure. Let's go whip these troopers into shape! Hey there, Poindexter! You've managed to become extraordinarily well-liked by the top brass. You should exploit that for your own gain wherever possible. Sergeant McCready asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. Well, this is an unexpected variable. I had hoped to coast on an easy wave of mediocrity to a cushy government pension. <laughs> Guess you don't feel so smart now, huh? <laughs> your insults are both unhelpful and unwanted. I'll thank you to keep them to yourself. Y'all sure are a big old hero. I gotta write my mama and tell her I met you. Why don't you tell me about yourself, huh? I was born on a farm out in California. Weren't much. Me, Ma, and Pa, my two sisters, and about 40 acres of corn and Brahmin. Corn! Didn't ever have Brahmin! any problems, really, except for some lean years. <laughs> then I joined up and got shipped out here to New Vegas. How'd you end up in the Army? Well, as it turns out, we had a string of bad harvests a few years back. Pa said he couldn't afford to feed but three youngins or we'd starve. As the biggest one, it was my job to go join the army so as my sisters could eat and so as we wouldn't all be killed by raiders and Jesus would love us. <laughs> it's all right, I guess. I don't like all the fighting we gotta do, though. I don't understand how you leaving has anything to do with Jesus loving you. Jesus was trying to make a move on his sister. When he... Oh, it wasn't Jesus, it was Jesus. Yeah, and O'Hanrahan was cock-blocking him <laughs> the entire time. <laughs> and O'Hanrahan's dad is like, Now, O'Hanrahan, I don't know why I'm calling you by your last name. <laughs> So I'm your father. You need to leave and stop cock-blocking Jesus from having sex with your sister. We need more kids out here to work the farm. Did you say you were afraid of fighting like a coward? I ain't scared. I just don't like hurting folks is all. Ma always used to tell me, boy, you're the biggest and the strongest, so you mind yourself. Every day she told me that. Guess I done took it to heart. Pleasure meeting you, O'Hanrahan. We're going to talk to the rest of your squad. I don't think that's within regulation. That is the highest of high and tights. Oh shit, here comes the brown noser. What you want? What can you tell me about camp golf other than that you hate it and it sucks? Whole place used to be some kind of rich bastard resort back before the war. Now the rangers use the old resort and we grunts get to live in tents. Fucking typical. <laughs> Alright. Oh man, when we got sent to Africa, we got two guys that fell out of heat stroke the first day. Because they had to sleep under the freaking 120 degree sun. Oh, that seems like a great idea. Don't worry, we had plastic tents to sleep in that had no ah, ventilation. Yes. They have no ventilation, so they just keep all the humidity and the moisture in there. Me and another guy had night shift, so we spent the entire night shift guarding the equipment. And then during the day, everyone else went out, and we got to sleep in the hot, hot sun. Oh, God. And it was already steaming hot at 9 in the morning. So I couldn't sleep. I'm naked and I'm still sweating, so we you know what? Forget <laughs> it. I'm just going to put my gear back on and I'm just going to use my off time to play cards. Because there's nothing else I can do. Meanwhile, the other guy stayed in the tent for about 15 minutes and started getting delusional. <laughs> and he starts yelling, hey Mike, are you feeling hot? And of course, because I had left, he didn't hear anything. So he starts panicking, thinking maybe I had <laughs> passed out. So he jumps out of his tent in nothing but his boxer shorts. He starts tripping open tents because he can't remember which one I'm staying in, yelling, Mike! Mike, where are you? <laughs> Speak to me, Mike! 
and we're not too far away, so we see the ruckus, we turn our heads, and we see this guy screaming and ripping into tents. <laughs> it sounds like a vision from a meth-fueled nightmare. <laughs> like he was high on angel dust and was just ripping open tents trying to find you so that he could eat your organs. <laughs> well, thank God he couldn't find me. I was too busy playing caravan. Oh, God. Why were you in Africa? Oh, for training drills. Oh, okay. I wasn't deployed or anything. We are just hanging out with the Senegalese troops. And one of them kept making moves on our sergeant. Ah, uh, I remember you telling me about that. You can be my third wife! <laughs> wow. The big celebrity down here with the common troopers. What can I do for you? Dan, I brought Zach, too! Tell me a little bit about yourself, Mags. Not much to tell, really. I grew up in New Reno, joined up, took my shot at being a ranger, didn't make it, so I'm stuck with this crew of jokers. Why didn't you make it in the rangers? What made you wash out? Gee, I don't know. Maybe because I'm saddled with the worst damn unit in the NCR army. Think that might have something to do with it? That would probably have something to do with it. And I fully understand being in the worst unit and the worst base in the military. <laughs> and the worst branch of the best military, yes. <laughs> Wait, did you just say the army's the worst branch of the military? I may have. There isn't a whole lot of stereotypes about soldiers eating crayons and glue. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's more about Marines. Yeah. They could eat crayons on glue and keep on fighting because they're so fit. I think it's because they're dumb and they don't know any better. Unlike 300-pound army soldiers who have difficulty waddling That's in the That's National back. Guard! <laughs> <laughs> when I was teaching small arms repair, I had to teach both army and Marines. When there was a woman in the class, all the male soldiers would just be clustered around her, all trying to hit on her and all trying to talk to her. No discipline, huh? But... When the Marines were in the class, they would all stand in the back of the classroom and slap each other in the dick and try to grab, <laughs> e try to grab each other's penis and be like, oh, you're gay. Oh, no, you're gay. Oh, no, you're gay. It's a training exercise building up endurance. We and respect women and we are the best fighting force for a reason. Because we don't harass them. We harass ourselves. At <laughs> one point, I was like, why do you Marines do this? And this female Marine goes, it's because they're scared of us. <laughs> why did you join the Army, Mags? I guess I wanted to make something of myself, you know? Be the best of the best. I wanted to be a ranger, but guess this is as close as I get. I bet she probably could be a ranger. She didn't wash out of ranger school. She just got stuck in a really crappy unit with terrible command that won't promote her. Oh, they're going to the mess tent because oh, they're hungry. they're going to get food. Nelson's back in our hands. Hope we can defend it this time. Yeah, you said that. It's like the 30th time. Shut up! Hey. Welcome to the chow hall where you got fun and games. This guy's drink nuke cola cause he's really lame. It's the chow hall. Welcome to the chow hall. I like how none of them are sitting near each other. <laughs> they hate each other so much and the point actually is like, I'm too smart for food. I'm figuring out how to subsist on chlorophyll. <laughs> so Sergeant McCready has asked me to talk to you about getting your squad in shape. Well, good luck with that. You'd have an easier time teaching rad roaches to march in formation. If you want to get rad roaches to march in formation, it's not that hard. You just put some little decaying strips in, like, a line, and you just, occasionally you got to hit one of them with a boot. But you don't really want to hit them, like, too hard, because otherwise you squish them, and then you got to start all over again. You're not laughing. You don't think this is funny? All right, fine, whatever. It can't be as hard as all that. What needs to get done? Well, if you ask me, what we really need is to get this whole squad out on the practice range. Shape up our marksmanship and explosive skill. All right, everybody, get the hell up here. Hurry up! Point Dexter, move your ass! Waiting on you! Waiting on you! Okay, everybody's lined up and ready to go. Any suggestions? Uh, suggestion one, take positions where you can cover each other. Stay focused. You heard the man, people. Get focused. Take your time. Pick your shots and tell your squad mates who you're shooting at. Communication is important. You don't both want to be shooting at the same guy unless you're trying to lay down suppressive fire on the same person. Or unless you want to focus him down, in which case it's well, a good this idea. This isn't a first-person shooter, Mike. Well, I mean, what? It, it is a first-person shooter. You all have to focus on the same troop. I've got the one at 11 o'clock. Raz, O'Hanrahan, take the two on the right. Poindexter, the center. Now, this is really important. Exhale before you fire. You want to squeeze the trigger. Don't jerk it. Exhale, squeeze. Focus on the shot. And then now they start shooting stuff. <laughs> As she sweeps her troops. Nelson's back in our hands. I hope we can defend it this time. Poindexter, I swear to God, you bring that up one more time. Was that it? You fired half of a magazine, each of you. That was your training exercise. So did the shooting range practice take care of everything? It helped, but we still got a grenade range inspection to pass. All, All right. right, get them to line up. I'll help you with that, too. After the help you gave us at the shooting range, we'll take any advice you've got. 
Everybody get back up here, Poindexter! Waiting on you! Still lollygagging! Hey everybody! Poindexter decided he was gonna show up late today! So guess what? We're gonna do push-ups for three hours until Poindexter gets here! And he's gonna stand and watch! Now we're a real army! Okay, we've got our dummy grenades and the course is live. We're all set. Pull the pin, let it cook for a count of three, and then throw it. And remember, frag grenades always have five second fuses, except when they don't have five second fuses. Right. Easy enough. When I threw my live grenade, I actually hit the target dummy that was out there with the grenade itself. It blew up the entire target dummy, and the guy was not happy that he was going to have to go out there and put a new target dummy out. <laughs> don't pitch it like a baseball. Lob it. You want a good, solid arc. Yeah, don't pitch it like Zach did. He didn't know what he was doing. You got to try and arc it and let it roll. Solid arc. Check. Lob him up and over, people. Also, don't worry about accuracy. Use the grenades to break up clusters of enemies, or to hit enemies behind cover, or to throw it into a room because you don't want to deal with what's inside the room. Hold the grenades for groups, squad. Hit them in clusters and send them running. Okay, everyone throw grenades. That's right. Love them. There you go. There you go. See, now you got... Who threw one over there? <laughs> Which one of you... Oh, my God. You guys are walking away while the grenades are still going off. Thanks to you, I think we're in good shape. The squad seems to be functioning much better as a unit now. Um, just on a random note, you said that was a grenade inspection. I can't help but notice there was nobody here inspecting. Who's feeling motivated? I'm feeling motivated. How you feeling, O'Hanrahan? You ready to kill some stuff? Shooting guns is real scary, but I think I got the hang of it now. But does the NCR not have, like, basic training? Do they just give them a gun and send them out in the middle of the Mojave Desert and tell them to shoot stuff? Yes, Zach, that's what conscription uh, is. Oh my god! Conscription is awful. Sergeant McCready! I gotta admit, I'm impressed. The misfits are drilling better than I ever expected. Happy to get that done for you! Alright, goodbye. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah, whatever? <laughs> yeah, whatever? <laughs> yeah, whatever. I feel like we did some good today. Yeah! <laughs> uh, this is hole one, it's a par four. Um, I'm gonna need the number three wedge, I think. Are we going to use the ashtray? Silence on the putting green, Mike! <laughs> Four! I sliced it. You gonna try to take a mulligan on that one? Uh, five! <laughs> Six! Seven! Eight! Nine! I'm just gonna put you down for a triple bogey. Ah, oh, look at that, it went in the rough. This whole thing is the rough. <laughs> There's no not the rough. Vincent, take your golf club back! Give me your sweet roll. Give me that sweet roll, Raz. Maybe if you weren't such a punk bitch, you, well, your life wouldn't be so shitty. Wow. <laughs> sure is nice to see everybody working together like family. Maybe now the baby Jesus won't cry himself to sleep every night.